What's up, Whack Pack? Eugenius here. Hope you're all well. This is Ombre Nui from Christian Dior. And a fan favorite in the community. I really see this as the darling. Everybody seems to love, the, love this stuff. And I mean, you know, deservedly so. I even think it's on, on Christian Dior's good books and something Francois Demache would be extremely proud of. I mean, it's stuck around since 2009 when a lot of its contemporaries have really been discontinued or, or allocated to being available just in, in, in Paris, um, in, the, in the Christian Dior boutique. But I really think this is a genre that Francois Demache has perfected, the woody oriental, the ambery, the golden hues of amber. I know he's done a couple of these now. Well, in fact, he's done four. Mitsa, um, Spice Blend, and Santoal Noir. They're all really in that family. And, you know, originally, not originally, it just kind of came to me the other day. Well, I don't know, just going over this, how much the genre, not specifically Ombre Nuit, but the genre reminded me of one that Chanel did. And I always figured, you know, at least I imagine that Dior is always chasing Chanel in some aspects. And I was trying to figure out if this was their answer to Cora Mandel. But I don't want to make this video about that. I'm always shitting on on Dior. Let's let's just focus on Ombre Nuit because it, it's definitely a great fragrance and it deserves the attention without having being compared to someone else. But there is that debate of, you know, Ombre Nuit, and I see this a lot, is an ambergris fragrance. Is it an amber fragrance? Is it one or is it both? Or, you know, is it all three? And to me, I see this really as being both, but dominantly more amber as in the powdery golden hues, the oriental note, you know, the resin, the sticky sweet resin. Um, there's definitely some some form of ambergris in here. I don't think this is the best. I, I wouldn't call this, you know, a, 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 a photorealistic ambergris, or if I were to recommend somebody an ambergris fragrance, this, this isn't one that would come to mind, but, you know, I get aspects of ambergris. It's, you know, it adds a little bit of warmth and it's, it's pastel -y and almost animalic. Like, it's got animalic qualities, but I don't really find this challenging or dirty or, you know, it's got a slight saltiness to it. Uh, it's missing a lot of ambergris qualities that I like in my perfumes or, um, you know, in my ambergris compositions like that that aldehydic soapy accord almost that that marine like quality of just the ambergris floating and bobbing in the ocean you know for decades and decades and i'd like it to be a little bit more anime like possibly um i know guerlain's done something really similar to this with ensemble smithique which is uh it's in a rose ambergris opposed to i find this more amber but um i think they're their ambergris is more spot on. If I had to add like a, a picture to ambergris. Um, but this to me opens up very fresh, very crisp. It's got, it's got a very sparkling rose to it and it's very peppery. There's a lot of spice in here. And just trying to determine, you know, the name Ombre Nui. Ombre obviously came from Ambers, not Ambergris, but Ombre Nui. The Nui part, I think they're taking from, you know, the warmth of this. Nui obviously means nighttime. And just the spiciness, because there's a whole lot of spice in here. Um, it's very peppery. And just the other day, you know, spraying this up in the air, for the first time I picked up what I thought was cinnamon. And a lot of it reminded me of Ombre Nargole from, from Hermes. And I'd never really associated this with, with Ombre Nargole. And I'm not comparing it to Ombre Nargole. It's just 
I got a little of that um, cinnamon and it almost felt like, you know, warm apple pie. And um, as much as this is a, a warm, woody oriental i can definitely see gourmand notes in here it's very it's got a lot of sweetness to it especially in the opening i think the majority of that comes from the benzoin but um it's got that really sparkling effervescent fresh rose and that's really contrasted with the warmth of the ambergris um you know it's got a lot of that pepper and the rose it starts to die down right after the opening, um, very sparkly and fresh. And it just kind of really, it's like watching a rose unfold until it turns a little bit powdery. Uh, I get a whole lot of powder from this fragrance. And then the base, you know, we go into the base, the heart of this fragrance actually. And I get a very soft patchouli. This fragrance is very soft and it's very sensual. So it makes me think there's um, some sort of a musk in here and I wouldn't call it like a white nitro musk or even a boring musk it's a really nice soft sensual musk um, at least that's what I feel I feel like there's a little bit of musk in here now I wouldn't call it hairy or dirty but it just really adds adds that that sensual character to it uh, the patchouli it's not very picturesque patchouli like it's not it's not herbal or textured or abrasive it's just it just adds a little bit more depth to it to go with that that really sweet benzoin the ambers the vanillas um, again it's got everything's really soft in this perfume like I do get resins like these really sticky sweet resins but they're not over jarring they're just like they're there sensually softly it's very sweet it is and it all just kind of dries down very powdery like um, I've heard people compare this to being like a granny perfume I myself don't see that I don't find this challenging at all. You know, I can I can definitely see a beginner say that, but somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of experience calling this old and 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 challenging, but I mean, I can definitely wear this every day and and not really be jarred by it, but in that base with that, it's got that really churchy, warm, soft, you know, that incensey feeling. And it's got really that, you know, the golden hues. It's got a little bit of texture to it. But also got this, this really zesty ginger-like note. And it makes me feel like I'm smelling like a gingerbread cookie or a gingerbread house. And it's also got that, that texture to it, that, that coarseness that you would smell from a ginger, gingerbread house. But there's days where... I love wearing this and there's days where it strangely bores the fuck out of me and I kind of regret wearing it so I never know what I'm going to get and a lot of times it does wear differently on me you know different facets I guess with with body chemistry different facets will appear more than others or you know but and I hate to say that because I really do like this perfume, but there are days where it just honestly bores me. And there's days where I was just like, I marvel at its beauty. It's like standing outside and watching this, like this marvelous sunset, you know, it's this beautiful sun setting. It's a very romantic perfume and you're seeing this really beautiful sunset and then the days it doesn't work I'm like where the fuck did that sun go it's just really cloudy and shitty outside and gray and dreary and all I want to do is crawl into bed and, and wash this perfume off the you know that feeling <laughs> like you kind of regret putting it on or you just you, you kind of regret the crappy day but that's how I feel you know other than that I think it's a I think it's a really lovely perfume 
and I'm going to score this. The score that I give on the bottom is on the days where I really like it. And I'm going to forget about the days where I find it boring and, and I don't care for it. I, I think that's the, the, the most fair way to put it. But the best way to round this up is just very soft, sensual, you know, contrasted with uh, a very sparkly, effervescent rose in the top that's very peppery. Um, a warm base, so you got that fresh contrasting, the warmth from the heart. That's the ambergris, the very balmy ambergris. It's got that kind of waxy, fatty, almost cosmetic-like accord. It's really sweet and, and, I don't know, just like cozy. That's how I see it, as a very cozy scent. But again, it contrasts, you know, the, the, the night aspect. It, it, it does have some darkness to it, which is those spices. But I really love the dry down. I love that. I love that theme of golden powdery hues, you know, textured frankincense, patchouli. I'm not crazy about sweet benzoins, but... I mean, it's, you can either take it or, or, or leave it. It's come as you go, you know. You can't have this composition without benzoins. And I do usually find these compositions sweeter, woody orientals or ambery orientals. For the most part, they're sweet. And I think it's to offset. I think almost benzoin in its raw form has almost an animalic vibe to it where it's like it's off-putting. So they almost have to cover it up somehow. There you go. Um, really surprised by that cinnamon, though. And I really believe it is. There is some cinnamon because it's got an overdose of, of spices in the top. But, um, yeah, there's my review of Ombre Nui. Uh, I can definitely wear this every day if it's popping. If it's doing its thing, I can see myself wearing this every day. It's, it's, it's that good. I think it's one of the better... Um, Dior private blends, but if you're familiar with this, let us know what you think of it. I'm not sure. I haven't smelt the Maison Christian Dior line. This is the older um, from the Preve collection, and I don't have a batch code. Oh, here it is. It is. It looks like four five zero one. 4S01, if somebody wants a reference, or 4501, one or the other. You can try both. Looks more like an S. 4S01. Anyway, let us know in the comments below what you think of this. Is it Privé worthy? Do you find it boring ever, as I do? You know, I'm kind of perplexed. How does a fragrance do that? One day, it could like from wearing to wearing, one day I can love it, and the next one I'm just like, God damn, this is just so boring. And, huh, you know, just so pedestrian like. I don't know, weird. I don't know, is that skim chemistry? I don't know. Let us know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like this video, and we will see you in the next one.